A lot on deck tonight to talk about in weather because we still have a system right on top of us. This is San Luis Obispo. You can see some of the rainfall coming down and that moderate rain pace definitely added up to some roadway difficulties, some isolated ponding, but no advisories for flooding with this system. But we're not done with it entirely yet. The area of low pressure is beginning to wash out, but this still has to push over the area. So it's going to keep us with scattered showers and the possibility of isolated thunderstorms, which of course brings in the possibility of isolated hail as well. Here you can see the rainfall moving across Santa Barbara County. We're starting to get some numbers in from down here. Looks like some folks are picking up to two tenths of an inch per hour down there. Santa Maria is still raining. San Luis Obispo pockets of moderate showers continue up along the north coast. It's become a little more spot. So the rainfall totals have started to slow in terms of the accumulation, but we have a nice little cell ready to move into the five cities right now. And again, in the Santa Barbara area, you can see up in the hills, we're seeing some rain pace at about three tenths of an inch per hour and just off the coast a little bit heavier than that. So total rainfall with this. I think most folks still stay around that inch to inch and a quarter on the high side. We'll see a lot in the half to three quarter inch variety. Snow levels are dropping to about 3,500. Later Saturday into Sunday, the snow levels drop further. Could pick up to three quarters of an inch more rainfall. I think half or less is really going to cover most folks. Now, Monday and Tuesday, Karina and Richard were asked about that dry period, the window. It's Monday and Tuesday if you're looking for a longer window, but Wednesday through the rest of the week, the models are really getting excited about the potential there. Just updated some of these. Cambria, nearly an inch of rain. Santa Margarita, about four tenths. Rocky Butte, more than an inch. And Adelaida, about an inch of rain. San Simeon, about a half inch of rain. Atascadero, I saw some other gauges here, so I wanted to up that. It's over a half inch of rain in Atascadero. The amounts from North County vary widely. The airport in Paso is only five hundredths, but downtown is more like a quarter of an inch. There are some higher totals there. No one town has one reading. So if you want to debate, that's R. Gearhart at KSBY.com. Napomo, about a quarter of an inch in Santa Maria as well, and Pismo Beach, about a half. Winter weather advisory for the Santa Barbara County Mountains through noon on Saturday. This could get reissued because of the next system on the way as well. We're not looking at a lot of accumulation, but about above 4,000 feet could see one to three inches of snow and grapevine travel could be very tricky over the weekend as well because we could see up to six inches of snow there. You can see how it's starting to move in through the overnight tonight, but this is tomorrow morning 5 a.m. Still some scattered showers out there, but the trend will be toward decreasing activity. Now again, it's not perfectly quiet Saturday. Still some scattered showers, mostly cloudy conditions. By Saturday night, the rain starts picking up again. Here's another fast sweeping front through the area. The rain pace does not look as strong and it doesn't look as wet, but it's still going to be an issue for rainfall. Then we start entering the quiet period as we get into Monday and Tuesday. Now Wednesday, computers are back to liking a pretty wet system on Wednesday with a connection to an atmospheric river. This could give us an inch to three inches of rain and computer models are getting excited about the entire period from Wednesday into Sunday of next week. Here's the thing. They haven't been consistent in terms of timing and intensity of individual storms, but in terms of the overall outlook, it does look like it could get very active again mid to late next week. A lot of the daytime highs tomorrow very similar. We're going to see mid to upper 50s for most of the coastal areas. The deeper interior valley is going to scratch it out to get to 50 degrees. Does it rain all day? The answer is no. Early and late are the best chances for rain in the middle. It's not perfectly quiet. A few scattered showers, but I think the afternoon should be just mostly cloudy. There's the extended forecast. And again, just outside of my five day here, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll have to watch that carefully.